I got quite a video about this stove I got on Amazon. I recommend people don't buy it. I'm going to point out why not to buy it now. I made a quick video before, but this is, I've got another stove now, Blizzard. So although I've bought the stove, I've used it once, I ain't going to use it again. I'm not going to sell it on. It's just going to be dumped. And I replaced it with this one here, and I'll show you the difference. Um, there's my original stove there, and this is one of the reasons why I want to dump it. You see that plastic front? That's a lot heavier than that one. Uh, this plastic front was on firm. This plastic front here, I'm going to go over it quickly, I've done it in another video. That is cheap, bendy out crap there. Uh, if I go in and put the gas cylinder, so you get the gas cylinder lined up. If I go to engage the gas cylinder, that will not let me engage that gas cylinder because this is not set up right. Check this gas cylinder right here. So although that's not set up right, it lets me put the gas cylinder on and allows me to ignite it. You will not get that one ignited unless that's the right way around. So when you lift this up here, that wee bit of metal there, that's all the steps the cylinder going in. Because of um, the shape of the bracket, that's such, an, so, such a simple design and that will not let you put the gas cylinder on when that's upside down. When you turn around the other way, then the gas cylinder can go on. Now what I also knows about these two as well, I can control the flame in that, very precisely. This one here, you can't. The flame is on, and you're almost off before the flame dies down. Look how far that's down there now, like. It's nearly off, and the flame's still burning away high yet. So, that's all I have to say about that. The thing about this one here now, you get it on Amazon, it's £12. They all look the same, don't they? Like, I say this one here has got all the CE marks and all on it. That one's also got CE marks on the case, there's nothing on the stove. Uh, I noticed that the gas pipe in this is thicker. The actual gas pipe in that, where the gas goes in, is thicker copper than the gas pipe in this one. That's a wee thin gas pipe. I noticed this thing here is very light as well. Uh, it's just a solid ring where the wee hoods are sticking up. This one here has got an air gap underneath to help the oxygen get sucked in. Better designed. So when I bought this on Amazon, it comes completely shrink wrapped. You have to tear the shrink out first before you open it. And once you tear the shrink wrap, you can't send it back. Technically speaking, it ain't faulty. It's just not built to safe. It ain't faulty. I went to Home Bargains, seen this one here, £15. There's nothing wrong with the old one apart from it's rusty. It lay in the shed for years. This one comes packed like this, you can take the sleeve off and you can look at it. So, because you can, I haven't, I haven't tried this out yet, but because I got it in home bargains, I know it's going to be up to proper CE marks. On like uh, Amazon, on like eBay and these places. So there she comes now with instructions, and it's got the CE marks. I'll tell you what I like about this here, and that's why I'm going to make the video. Whenever you have a gas cooker or gas heater that's using a regulator, you are meant to change the hose pipe every just two or three or four years, whatever it is. The date's on the hose pipe. You buy the hose pipe, they mark the date on it for manufacturing on and you have to dump it every so often. You're also supposed to change the regulator every five years. These things have the regulator built in. They don't have the hose pipe because um, they've got the copper tube. So that does, that's alright, the copper pipe does away with the hose pipe. The regulator is built into them. You cannot change the There's a regulator there. So that regulates, as that cylinder gets empty, the pressure drops, that has to regulate right the gas. This one here has a reset button on it. If the, re if the pressure goes wrong in the regulator, it'll cut out. And also, if it overheats, it'll cut out. So if the stove overheats, if that thing overheats, it's going to blow up like, it ain't going to cut out. Now that, what's the say, look, incorrect. See, it's got a warning here telling you. Now I haven't opened this up, but I've seen, I've already got the safety device. That I'm looking for. That's all I need to see. That's a home bargain. It's got the safety thing. So I say I haven't opened it. I'll open it up now. Let's see what's like. I myself here shrink wrap, so you have to rip it. So at least you know 
I did buy one, and it hasn't been wrapped. Nobody's been at it. Uh, I need two hands for this bun. There's the wee stove right now, boys. Look at that there, that neat. So, that there rusted on me. This is stainless steel. Stainless steel is not going to rust. Stainless steel is 100% recyclable. Eco-friendly this here, boys. Eco-friendly. Nice, big, thick copper pipe. Look at that thick copper pipe compared to that wee thin one, like. You know, um, the, the ring on it is the same as the, 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 the good one. It's got the air gap underneath. It wouldn't be as heavy, but it's got the air gap underneath. If I put this on now upside down, it will not let me engage the gas. It has to be the right way around to engage the gas. Where um, these two here, that's a nice wee mechanism there to open up. Maybe clip shut and it's just very free. That one there was hateful to work. That's, see how high it could pull? That's a big ugly thing. But they both open down the ways. This one here opens up the ways. Don't know what the idea that is. But she opens up the ways. Gas on it. There's the reset button. I've never had one of them. So she's got an added safety feature in it. Should it overheat, so turn off the gas. And um, if the regulator goes faulty or anything, something wrong with you know, sometimes people try and refill cylinders, you might get dodgy cylinders, cylinders not compatible. You put it in there, shut cut out. I'll try a cylinder in it now, see how it goes. Reading the instructions, I don't normally do this, but this is different. You see, the appliance is equipped with a pressure sensitive safety device which will activate to stop the flow of gas if a critical pressure is reached in the gas cartridge or it gets too hot the appliance must not be used again until it has completely cooled down do not make any attempt to bypass the pressure sensitive sensitive safety device to continue use turn the knob to the off position turn the cartridge lever to unlock position and take the cartridge out Turn the control knob and ignition position to release any excess pressure and then set the valve and all that. Push down the reset lever. So you take your cartridge to all out, all that out first. And then, uh, so I would say we're saying here, if it cuts out on you, you take your cartridge out. Bear in mind now that the pressure's wrong. You push this down again here. You want to get all the gas out of it. There might be still gas and even though the cartridge might be a wee bit of gas in that. Push this lever down, turn on your thing, that lets all the gas out of it. Once you get all the gas out of it, then you can push this lever down. Does it have to be on, I wonder? Then you can push this lever down here and that will reset it. And then you put the cartridge in, this time it's all cooled down and it'll work. So I just thought I'd read that bit in case it overheats on me. I might take these instructions with me. Using the stove for the first Bear time. Bear in mind, I paid £12 for that. You'd have to pay postage unless you're an Amazon Prime member. I got the friend you ordered for me. I'll, I'll pay over £22. This was £15. It's only £3 more. That's worth £3 more just for the safety feature. But uh, the fact it's stainless steel, that's a, uh, I think that's a plastic there, is it? How am I going to be magnet to find out? That's metal, that's metal. Probably scratch it now, like. So the whole, that's all metal, I know. That we can see that it's not flimsy. Now I'm going to engage this gas on now for the first time, let's see what happens. Well, we'll put this the wrong way around first, because people want to know, is this safe? So you cannot engage the gas on it. I thought some cap and uh, fold up more. Why is here the gas on it? Is it? That is very easy mechanism there. Oh, unbelievable easy. That's far easier than the old one. Much easier than that one. That there, you can feel the metal rubbing against metal there. You know when you, you got metal not lubricated? Very rough. Very smooth. Very smooth there. I'm impressed with that. I don't buy you too because I, I want a nice and smooth action, but that's a bonus. Just engineered that wee bit better. Well, I don't know how to reset. This is just goes a nice and neat like.
We'll light her up now and see what the thing's like here. Already, see, it works better. You can actually hear the noise of the gas. When I turn that down. That's more controllable. That's useless there, eh? useless. Look at that there, boys. We're a long way off off. And look how small you can make that wee flame. The only thing I have to check now is my wee gas heater, how the gas heater fits on. It wasn't fitting the other two very well. So, for three pound, the afternoon worth it does here, boys. Three pound. See what all the markings is on it. What's it saying here now? Put up a gas stove and it's giving you all your specifications. Uh, my, I need reading glasses. I actually buy reading glasses, but then I'll lose them. Uh, you better read this on TV anyway. Vapor pressure, butane, 22 uh, kilowatts, is it? Or 2.2 .2 kilowatts. Gas consumption. I'll tell you what it uses an hour. 162G or whatever it is an hour. So, use outdoors only. I'll be used just inside the car. Uh, parts may become very hot and chilled and all the rest. And Belfast number and all on it. See that there, boys. You don't get much things now. Oh, look, see you, Mark. See you, Mark. See that there? That's made for locals. Eh? So it is. It's a permitting channel, like. But the, 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 they've uh, made it for the local shops. Um, Not many things with Belfast name on. Well, that there, see, it's got uh, wee ones and all on. This thing here's got nothing here, like. Well, it's got that wee bit at the top. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to read that at all, would you? Like, it's a lot of nonsense. How do you got a wee safety device? Do not move while in use. Uh, different languages. So, I'm going to be happy enough with this one here now. Uh, apart from that. It looks nice still as steam doesn't it boys? Modern, modern. So there you go. Now, uh, that there is lighter than the first one. Oh, but wait, but wait. People will want to know. I just happen to have these scales sitting here, see that? Just have, oh, uh, what you looks that on there? All I know is grams. Two six oh grams, this. Twelve pound heater. See, you're getting more metal for your money here. See ya, and home bargains. Uh, where's the whole heater? People are wanting to we'll take the gas out. We'll take the gas out. Make an even competition here. This video is going to get long now. Like people, long gone before we get to this stage. So if I put the whole heater on now, is it going to balance? Is it not going to balance? I'll hold, hold my finger here. I'm only holding it that way. So 1.6 1 .6 kilograms. Um, the Chinese ring one. See, so you're getting more metal for your money. Price of metal nowadays. And the fact that that's stainless steel, it's probably lead in that paint there, you know. This is stainless steel here, boys. Stainless steel. Nice wee sticker and all on it. What if that sticker's going to burn off? Tell or tell. So there you are. Uh, I, I don't know where the box is for that. I might have chucked it out. I'm not interested in boxes. But that's a much better box. Because I don't bother with the boxes. But if you're in the boxes, the home bargains one seems to be a better box. So wherever you're going to buy one, whether it be Halfords or wherever, or Argos, Check these fronts, the cheap ones, you see the way it bends on, and that's a flimsy thing. The better ones will be the same thickness the whole way along. That's what you want to check for. And check that it's got this wee bit of metal sticking out. The other one doesn't have it. It's the same thing. That's all really. Wish it'd be 12 pound in that, but at least it haven't killed myself by getting this one here.